Hey Crafty Cuties, we are at Joanne and this is actually a Joanne, new location Joanne. where I live. Who are you talking to? Crafty Cuties. And they closed the superstore that I brought you guys along to so many times. So I'm really hoping that this is also a superstore. Super I, I, I can't tell yet. So I am going to take you along. Um, it's actually near the old location. So I'm hoping they just redid this one. So let's go see. Right from the get go, I see mushrooms. So cute. Okay, we're gonna look for paper crafting though. They have really cute gardening stuff. Ooh, it doesn't open. Oh, These misters. Look at my hand. Like an <laughs> and lots of plants and things like this, but still we need to go to paper crafting let's go so this location is really big but it, on top of that it looks so nice they have like a creator studio and i think i found where paper crafting is but everything's labeled and it just looks so nice and fresh in here okay found paper crafting and it's definitely wow yeah this is definitely bigger than most locations, I'm just hoping that they have a Tim Holtz area because that's what I want to look at. But for today, I'm just going to give you guys an overview of everything. These are cool. Not everything, but I'm going to give you an overview of the paper crafting. These are really cute little paper pads for $2.50. And they have really cute little prints. So far, I'm not seeing Tim Holtz. Don't let me down, Timmy. Actually, maybe I did hear that they are not selling Tim Holtz anymore at Joann's. Did I hear that somewhere? But there must be other embellishments and like stickers. Well, darn, I don't think that they do have a Tim Holtz area, so... Well, funny that I say that, and then here's Tim Holtz, but I don't think they have like the embellishments and things. So that is a big bummer for me because I love buying Tim Holtz at Joann's. They do have a really large bead area. <laughs> yeah, lots of beads. They do have these really pretty like specialty papers. Um, these are really nice. They're expensive, but if you were gonna use just one for like a journal cover, they're really, really nice texture. Wow, and very, very pretty. Let me know if you guys have these in your Tim Holtz, or oh my gosh, in your Joann's store. You guys, I found something. Okay, I am getting excited. They have Tim Holtz. And lots of stickers too, but I don't ever come here for the stickers, so holy moly, guacamole. Also, their yarn wall is just on point. I'm gonna have to do this pretty quick, but I know I gotta show you a little bit of everything. He's fine right there, Ari, because <laughs> I got the kids with me today. I am gonna grab some of these things because they're 50% off. So I will do a haul at the end and just show you what I got. I know this is rather quick. You've probably seen most of this because I think a lot of this is not exactly new. Well, I don't know. Love these vellum scenes, by the way. Try to go a little slower here because I know that the layers I'm looking at all the layers they have. Look at all the layers. There we go. <laughs> Is this fun, Arlo? Yeah. All of the little labels and snippets here. Mini folder. Oh, I haven't seen those. Those are cute. Pocket cards. Also, got to get those. We had to make a little side trip. To, ooh, they have lots of laces and ribbons too, but uh, found some threads. They're buy three, get three free. Ooh, I'm doing a project with uh, something like these soon, guys. 
I'm excited to see Diamond Art Club in the store because I'm doing a project with them. Sadly, my phone's about to die, so I'm just giving you a... All right, guys, now it is nighttime. I'm filming this, so there's going to be some glare because I have the lights on, but I have to show you everything I got because I'm so excited. So let's just start pulling some things out and I'll show you. Um, I have used these a ton. These are the mini paper clips by Tim Holtz. They are not new, but all of Tim Holtz was 50% uh, off. And then I had an additional 20% off and I had a, um, uh, some kind of like a, what is that called? $10 off my purchase. I can't think straight. It's late at night. My kids were a bit tired after shopping. I found these really pretty adhesive labels from Park Lane. These were $2.49, but they were also 50% off. So like I said, my location had a grand opening. I don't know if these sales were just um, for the grand opening or if they were at all of the stores. So I did grab these two small paper pads. They seem like they're probably six by six. They each have 12 sheets. 250 but again these were 50 percent off so i mean a dollar 25 i think that these are really pretty papers for any type of collaging or really anything i mostly love the florals on that one on these ones i like the watercolor kind of vibe that you get All of the threads were by three get, no, sorry, I shouldn't say all, but like the uh, more generic ones were by three get three free and they were all like $1.99. So it wasn't too big of a deal. Plus I had that additional coupon. So I got these colors right here. I went really wild with the Tim Holtz because 50% off plus that additional 20 and then my extra coupon that I had was such a good deal. Um, I've never tried these linen tapes, but I have seen other people use them and it kind of reminds me of a gauze kind of thing, but with a really pretty print. So I'm excited to have those. I have loved all of the Park Lane embossing folders. Now that I'm looking at these, I feel like maybe I have this one. I'm gonna grab them real quick, but I like the uh, scrolls here. Very nice. Let's see here. Now I have these two. Uh, yeah, because these are only like $3, I'm pretty sure, for regular price. And they are always on sale. Okay. Got them all now. So I don't have that exact one. Sorry. I wanted to make sure I have these two. Yeah. So these are such a good deal, especially they have them online too. So um, if you can find these, they just work really well and they are very nice. Okay. So let's see, cause I want to open a few of these things. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love labels. So I got these only because they were 50% off. I would not have paid full price for these. They're just blank labels, but I use these so often and I like the look of those ones. I have bought these before. Um, the field notes. A Fimmer pack. I think I meant to buy uh, some of the smaller snippets, but I kind of had a hurry because my kids were getting kind of bored. There are, also, there are smaller pieces in these, and I've definitely bought this pack before. Okay, so let's see. I have also purchased these vellum scenes, if you can see the different ones that come along. Um, let me just show you a few at least, and then I think I'll probably open these three because I've never purchased those before. I have seen them on videos though. All right, let's see. It's kind of late at night. I don't usually film late at night and it is pouring. 
So I recently went through my stash and realized that I had like three of these left over from a project and I can't remember what I used them on. I'm certain that I made a video and I might have to go back and see. I just love the vibe that they have. I keep saying that, I think. And they are just such fun little pieces to have. So I am excited to have some more of those in my stash. Then we'll set those over here. I was almost not going to buy these because they just look so kind of like basic that I was like, well, maybe I don't need them, but I was intrigued because they're actually little folders and I thought that they might be fun to alter and use in journals or really whatever. See, the thing I'm not in love with is that they are a glossy feel. Like it does make them feel luxurious and high quality. I will say that they're double um, side printed, but it's just something about the glossiness that I wish they were matte. I have heard people say that you can use mot. Wow. I just tried to combine matte and Mod Podge together. I have heard people say that you can use the matte Mod Podge over something glossy and it will make it matte, but I don't know because the matte, matte mod podge that i've used always is a bit sticky i will say i just bought a generic version of it and it's not sticky at all so maybe i need to try it on one of those so i've never purchased these before they are pocket cards there's just such pretty images so i thought i would go ahead and get them Open these up. I don't know what I will be using this for, but they are pretty. They are very okay, they're in little packs. Let's try to open these up. At least I want to open up like one of them with you guys. There we go. These feel really thick. So I guess they're kind of like journaling cards, but they're double-sided. They, so, okay, these ones are glossy, but like almost matte at the same time. I don't know, because if I put them in the light, they're not really like shiny. So they're like an in-between. These feel really nice. They're just like soft if that makes any, any sense at all. These would be really great to use on tags or you could easily turn these into a tag because they are pretty already. They're collaged already. And so I'm not gonna open up, um, well gosh, I am. Okay, I'm curious. <laughs> and maybe you guys are too. Wow, I'm surprised they're packaged uh, individually like this. Okay, yeah, these are just so pretty. So these are almost like a bit bigger than a playing card, I think. Yeah, these are really pretty. But I'm so excited to check out these. And these are called Backdrops. And I mean, I think it's just a heavy cardstock. Let's find out. I don't remember. I mean, I don't think I've purchased these before, but I could totally be wrong. I may have. I don't think I have them. I had to smell them because they have a smell. Okay, but anyways, I saw someone showing these and at first I was like, oh, these just look like cut down 12 by 12 papers like right here that's what it looks like but I mean maybe they do okay now that, now that I am feeling them they honestly do just have the same consistency and weight as Tim Holtz papers 
So this might not be the greatest buy because now that I'm looking at them, I don't know. I guess I thought that each one was gonna be more like this where this could be a journal cover. Do you get what I'm saying? Not just like a background. Like this, I love. So if they were more like this, like, I don't know, like a mini poster. But again, I did get them for a really good price. So I'm not mad at it. I could return them, but I'll definitely be able to use them. Like these ones right here, cause it's just like a cut version of his papers, I think. But again, this one right here, it looks like a scan of a really old book. So like this, I could turn that into a journal, a vintage journal for someone, you know? But these, I don't know. I think there's a lot in here that are not that great. But I saw the floral and to be honest, like this is why I was like, oh, I need this. <laughs> so I like a handful. Like I know that this is definitely one of his papers. So I'm not sure. I'm curious if this paper is in one of his paper pads. And if you know, let me know. This too, definitely in one of his paper pads. But I just, I do love everything Tim Holtz. So certain that this one is too. I haven't seen that. Uh, this seems like maybe a newer style. I'm not sure, but I've seen a few other, like I think the tapes that were in this print. And I'm not a fan, but if you like art journaling, you probably would be. That's cute. So I think I showed you everything. And again, this right here, I've had his small like uh, snippets in this style or journaling cards. And I do love that. I would use that probably as a journal cover. And this also looks like marble paper. Yeah, so there we are. Um, I I am happy with everything I bought, even though a few things like maybe I wouldn't have got if I had gone through them, but I'm gonna keep them because I got them for a good price. Um, let's just open this before we go and then I gotta get to bed. Let's see, I'm curious if it really does feel like gauze. And there were like a few other packs that were similar to this that had a floral design I loved, but then the second design, I I didn't love it too much. It was like vintage handwriting. Um, so I thought the tickets were better than nothing, but I wish that they had some florals just by themselves. And I'm thinking it looks like it's like more like double-sided tape. I could be wrong. I'll try to undo a little, okay. Oh, okay, just the first part there. Wow, that's very, actually very, very sticky. And then I think you just remove the backing. Let's see. So yeah, the stickiness is on point here. I'm not even gonna try to remove that because I'm not using it, but oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's, it is really, really sticky. So that's nice. And then it has a paper backing for the rest of it. But I'm going to guess you can remove a little bit of this and have it be sticky so that you can put your whole roll together. So I think this will be really pretty in some of my collaging or other things that I would do with fabric strips. And yeah, this was a fun haul. It was really fun to go to this new Joann's. Hopefully you have a location near you that has lots of Tim Holtz. I was so surprised to finally see all of it because I didn't think my location had anything. So that's it, guys. I'm going to let you go. Bye.